We're learning more today about a South Bay soccer star who died in a crash over the weekend. The 24 year old was also involved in another bad crash back in 2018 that sent him into a coma. His recovery from that accident inspired his coaches and teammates. Our Liberty Zabala spoke with them today and joins us live from El Cajon. Liberty. Good evening, Kathleen. Such a heartbreaking tragedy. It was right here near Vernon Way and Pioneer Way where police say that Dante Longo collided into a parked box truck. And I spoke with his coach who says he was an amazing player who had a lot of impact on the community. El Cajon police say they found the body of a man in the driver's seat of a BMW here near the 400 block of Vernon Way on Sunday morning. Officers say he slammed into a parked box truck. I, I couldn't believe it, to be honest with you. Shocked and numb, Dante Longo's Cal State San Marcos soccer coach Ron Pulver says hearing of his crash was like a bad dream. He was in a, in a, a really bad accident in 2018 that almost took his life and he was in a coma and and survive that and, and, and for this to happen a second time and for him not to survive was 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 really shocking. This crash comes just two weeks after another South Bay star athlete, Micah Patilla Wiggs, died in a crash after colliding with a concrete barrier in San Isidro. And I think we just really need to be alert and uh, and just you know use some of these situations as learning tools. But Coach Pover says Dante's recovery after his first crash was so inspiring to his team that they named an award after him. You no, know, the first moment I met him, I, it was just he's got a real magnetism about him. Dante leaves behind his mother, father, and siblings, along with teammates who will never forget his impact on the community. To again get the same phone call again, you know, it's just, it's, uh, words truly can't describe it. And teammates are planning a candlelight vigil in honor of Dante at Moonlight Beach from 5.30 to 7.30 tomorrow evening. For now, live here in El Cajon, Liberty Zavala, Fox 5 News. It must be so hard for them to make sense of this one the second time around. Our Liberty Zavala, thank you so much.